Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my introductory video, which is the first assignment for the VHC, the Virtual Homeschool Co-op. I've decided to join the co-op this year. They're starting a brand new year and it's open to all new members. So I've decided to join as a means to encourage myself and just to encourage others, kind of see what I'm doing as well as what other people are doing and hopefully have a successful homeschool year. So if you're interested in the VHC and you want to hear my introductory video, then follow along and, um, and we'll get started. Hey guys, welcome back. So my name is Kaylin, and as I mentioned, this is my introduction video for the Virtual Homeschool Co-op. And a little bit about myself, I am a teacher by profession. I taught high school, 10th grade primarily, when I was living in Riverside, California. Our lives kind of changed a lot, and then my boy was born, and so I quit teaching, and I haven't been back to the public school system yet, so that was about four years ago that I stopped teaching. But um, I do have a love of teaching and such good memories from when I was teaching high school. Because of my love of teaching, I just haven't totally um, ever thought that I would be on this homeschool wagon. I'm not even sure how long we'll stay on it or, you know, I kind of have this idea that we need to reevaluate every child every year and decide if homeschool is right for them. But being that this is Cameron's um, kind of preschool year, we're just going to jump in and join this co-op. Um, Teaching has always been really fun for me. I started teaching Cameron when he was two because I just love teaching so much. And then as he grew older, now that he is four, I'm going to try and be a little bit more structured and a little bit more consistent in having um, preschool hours every day so that he can gain those necessary skills for the kindergarten year, like reading and um math, like addition and subtraction, and that few, like the simple skills that he's trying to learn. So that's kind of a little quick introduction about myself. Um, I'm just going to go through these questions that um, have been suggested for our introduction videos, and you can get to know me, and then hopefully you'll have a desire to kind of follow along on my journey and post your journey so that I can follow along with what you're doing as well. You know, I wanted to mention really quick, I... Um, Another reason why I was really hesitant about doing this is that I am not a seasoned YouTuber. I just started my channel recently because I feel like um, I've had several friends in my area and people who don't live near me who've been asking me how I'm teaching my family and how I am teaching my kids. So as a... Um, as a way for me to kind of reach out to those people and tell them what I'm doing and give them my suggestions and kind of what I'm doing, I decided to start this channel only recently. Then I found the virtual homeschool co-op and decided that this would kind of be a good way for me to connect with other moms and get other ideas so that I can learn from you as well. So um, I'm not seasoned. I am really rusty. And so my videos won't be perfect. I don't have time to edit them because I have two little ones, but I'm going to try and do my my best here to have a good video so that you can get to know me and then we can have kind of a good network that we're um, creating together. So the first question asks how long I've been homeschooling and I kind of touched on that a little bit. So I've been homeschooling Cameron for two years but this will be our first official school year where I'm going to try and have a consistent learning system. I like I mentioned I had kind of play school when he was two and then last year we did homeschool or we did a preschool but we did it with a co-op in the neighborhood so a lot of the other neighborhood children would come over and we would have um, a preschool for two hours um, once a week and then in addition to that I would just kind of do a little here and there with Cameron but I kind of dropped off about January when you get into your homeschool slump and being that it was Cameron's preschool year I, I had just had a baby and decided that I wasn't going to continue with the home part and I just had him do the co-op part. So this year is our first official year of preschool and Cameron's kind of beyond the preschool subjects but not quite ready for kindergarten so that's what we're going to be covering this year with Cameron and you can see this is my classroom behind me. We have it up in our home just in the loft area. It's more of a space than a, an actual classroom um, or bedroom I guess it would be that we've set aside. So um, 
So yeah, that's that. It says um, how many and how old are your homeschool children? So I only have one that will be in my homeschool this year, my oldest boy who is four. And then we have my one-year-old who um, is just in the way more than anything, but she's down here playing with the drawers right now and in her diaper. So <laughs> hopefully um, you won't see her cut across the screen. We'll see how that goes. The next question is, what's my homeschool mission statement? And truth be told, I haven't written it out yet. It's not totally tacked down. I've had a lot of encouragement and people trying to um, let me know the benefits that come from having a homeschool mission. And especially for me, since I'm in a position where I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to continue homeschooling Cameron throughout his school life, um, it's really important for me this year. It's one of my priorities to really try and tack down a mission statement and see if homeschooling you know, every year is something that I'm going to invest in. Um, my true passions are to teach. I love teaching and I love to see my children learn. I love to see my children grow in the gospel and grow in their love for the Lord. And I really have a desire to um, protect them as much as possible from the influences that sometimes public school can bring. There's a lot of pressure for meeting standardized testing and meeting certain benchmarks that I'm not necessarily keen on. Having worked in the public school sector, I know a lot of kind of what happens behind the scenes on like the teaching standpoint and, um, and then having to deal that with a classroom with so many students that it's hard to kind of um, get that attention. So th that's kind of where my beginning lies as to why I've started kind of dabbling into this homeschool world. Um, the reason that we started this year, of course, was because um, Cameron is in preschool. I have a love of teaching and it just seemed natural for me to have him here and to be teaching him at home. So um, that's kind of a roundabout answer to that question, but that's uh, really why I'm doing it. Um, the next question is, where am I located on the planet? I am in the United States. We are in Utah, so just south of Salt Lake City in the Utah County area. And we've lived here for about three years. Um, prior to that, we lived in California. So I have California roots. I taught in California, and now we live in Utah, which is where um, it looks like we'll be for the next season of life. So, so that's where we are. Question seven is, how has the social media platforms helped you in your homeschool? And seriously, girl, I mean, I have gotten all of my motivation, all of my curriculum, all of my... Um, Everything has come from social media platforms. I really love Pinterest. I feel like anytime you go to print, pin, excuse me, Pinterest, you can just type in any subject that you're looking for, arts or crafts or science or math or whatever it is, and there is just a plethora of opportunities and suggestions and ideas that I can either duplicate or recreate for myself. So, um, um, other platforms I've recently really gotten into YouTube and I love all of the videos that other homeschool moms are doing out there. And, you know, I receive a lot of motivation and a lot of encouragement from watching, you know, day in the life videos or my curriculum videos or kind of how I run my classroom videos and just little things like that. Even just kind of touch-ins here and there where we can, um, connect with each other and motivate each other and encourage each other on this path. So I appreciate all of you guys out there who have been doing videos because it's really motivated me to think that this might be something that I can do. And I'm not intimidated by teaching. That's not the scary part, but just the consistency and being able to make it through when you reach those homeschool ruts. Cause I know that they're out there. I've seen all of your videos about how that happens. So that's really been a great platform for me, which kind of rolls into my next thought is why I've started this channel. I mentioned before I had several friends and hopefully some of you guys are watching my videos. Um, ask me about how I'm running my homeschool and how I'm teaching my boy. And so this was a great avenue for me to get my message out there and kind of just my tips and tricks and my things that I do to teach 
as I mentioned, I love teaching. I have a knack for teaching. I feel like the Lord has blessed me with a desire to teach. And so sharing that in this venue has just been um, really pressed on my mind on something that I want to do. So um, joining the virtual homeschool co-op is just a great opportunity for me to learn from everybody out there because I, I know I have so much to learn. And I was just really encouraged by Just So Trish when she was explaining, like, you can be a first-time mom. You don't have to be a seasoned YouTuber just join the co-op so that we can be encouraged. And I really feel like I learned so much from us little like hometown um, homeschoolers then that I, it, it's really great for me to implement into my life. So so that's that. Just some other things that I wanted to mention if you're interested in subscribing to my channel and following my journey. Um, some other things that I like to talk about is just life in general. Again, I just really love, like, if I were to use one word to describe me, it would be Pinterest. I love everything that has to do with being a wife and being a mom and being a homemaker. It's just my passion. And that's what I want to share is my journey as I go through being all of those things and trying to do homeschool on top of it. So I'm really excited for the VHC this year. I'm just hoping that I can learn from all of you and have a successful school year as we try to um, make it from beginning of September until the end of June. So we'll see how that works. So anyway, if you really like what you hear, hopefully you'll subscribe and follow my journey and I will look for you and subscribe to your channels as well so that I can follow your journey. Make sure you leave a comment below so that I know I can um, subscribe to your channel and follow your journey as well. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.